Uh, I started training in karate in uh, 1980, being officially a uh, college employee, I think it was 91. Uh, Shotokan, the style that I teach, is very balanced. It, it has a, a nice mixture of upper and lower body techniques. It's not kick heavy like some styles focus really more on the legs. Um, it's not all hands like boxing would be. Um, so it's, it's a nice blend. I'm, I'm a lot tougher on myself than I am my students. And I look at myself when I'm training and I'm constantly like, okay, I know this is wrong. I know I, I could do this a little bit better. So uh, it's a different mindset, I think, when I'm teaching versus when I'm actually practicing. Uh, we had a student who, who had trained with us for several years. She was a brown belt. Somebody broke into her house and stabbed her to death. And that was a life changer for me because it, it made me look at how we were teaching you know, self-defense, so to speak, and I constantly ask myself, what do we do wrong? And I reevaluated you know, from that point on. I mean, I was still, I was a senior, senior student, but I, you know, I was still far from being an instructor. Uh, so it helped guide me when I became an instructor and, and really gave me a different focus on self-defense than I might have had if I was just in a traditional dojo. Uh, I'm a fifth degree black belt. I keep getting pestered that I should test uh, one of these days. But I'm, you, know, you get to a certain point, it's, it's not that important. It's just, you know, really what's important is the journey. It's the process of, of just practicing and, in my case, practicing and teaching and sharing my knowledge.